everybody, Backyard Bullying here. Welcome to episode 110 of In Focus Friday. Now, last week we had a look at the Rwandan nautical HMS Endeavour coin, which is an absolutely stunning coin. One of my top picks and top favourite coins for 2018. Will certainly feature very high up in a top 10 list if I ever get round to making one. Uh, and it looked absolutely incredible up close to the 4K camera. So if you haven't checked it out, please do go have a look. The link, as always, is down in the description below. Now this week we're going to be tackling all things Krugerrand. We've got the 2018 bloody silver Krugerrand to have a look at and compare that with a one ounce gold Krugerrand and talk a little bit about Krugerrands in general. Now before we jump into that, just a reminder that at the moment we are not having votes on InFocus Friday because we're working through the backyard bullion backlog of in Focus Friday cannon fodder coins. Try saying that three times in a row. Uh, consequently, no vote today, but I will be giving you all a sneak peek of what we're going to have a look at next time. So make sure you stick around to the end of the episode to have a look at that. But today it is all about the Krugerrand, the bloody Krugerrand, as I have called it many times over on the Silver Forum. And I'll tell you for why, because this was an incredibly sought after coin as part of the last group order which we arranged, the big 2000 ounce group order. And uh, unfortunately this was not going to be available in time for the shipping date that we had originally planned for. But despite that, and despite me saying numerous times on the thread and various other places, uh, people kept on asking me for Krugerrand. So I kept on putting posts up on the major thread going, no bloody Krugerrands in big uh, got a uh, big red letters, uh, but despite that, you know, people wanted it and people were asking about it, which is a great thing for this coin. It highlights that this is an incredibly sought after and popular coin, which can only be a good thing for it as an investment coin. And we'll talk a little bit about exactly how good it might be, I suppose, in a little bit. But first, let's just talk and introduce you to the Krugerrand. Now, if you do not know anything about Krugerrands at all, Krugerrands are uh, a sil uh, sorry a gold coin originally from South Africa and they started in 1967 and they pretty much took over the entire world of kind of bullion investing investing in gold uh, they were the foremost coin in bullion grade investing gold around the world well recognized this one's from 1974 but they were from 1967 to current day uh, and they just, you know, they came in different sizes. We have here the half ounce Krugerrand as well, which actually I inherited from my grandfather. Half of this owns, is owned by my brother and half by me. But the point is they were incredibly popular, uh, sought after, well-known and well-recognized uh, coins. And in, in 2017, it was the 50th anniversary of the Krugerrand and they made a premium uncirculated coin with a 50th anniversary privy mark. And, uh, and that was made with a mintage of 1 million. And this year we have followed up with the 2018 BU Silver Krugram, which is the first ever BU version, because the one from 2017 was, I suppose, technically, I think some people call it a proof, but really it's just a premium uncirculated coin. It's not a BU coin. So this year sees the first ever BU version in silver. Uh, and that in itself is really good and really interesting. It's something that's different, unique. I personally did not pick up one of the 2017 versions of uh, the Silver Krugerrand. I felt that the price point was too high. Uh, you know, the mintage was a million as well. So when you combine all of those factors together for me, it just didn't sit with me as that great choice for my money. As a commemorative coin, as something to keep for a very long time, it of course would be a great choice. Uh, but here, you know, we just see the 2018 BU Krugerrand, and I think that's a better choice for your money personally. Now you can see I'm just holding this with my bare hands uh, and that's because these are cheap as chips. They are very, very well priced over on goldsilver.be uh, which incidentally is where I purchased these from if any of you Silver Forum members are wondering why or how I got these. Um, and uh, they, yeah, they're just, they're just cheap BU silver coins. They really are nothing to write home about in that regard. Uh, you know, they're going to have a phenomenal mintage probably into the millions. Uh, they're incredibly popular. And uh, all of that told, you know, it's just going to mean that you don't necessarily have to worry about keeping them in a perfect condition. But that's one of the, I suppose, the benefits of having a gold Krugerrand over a silver Krugerrand. Uh, I know obviously there's a, a large price point difference, but, you know, ultimately silver and silver coins, a lot of people take a lot of care over their silver coins. You can see here the size difference of these coins, the density difference of gold to silver. 
Um, you know, for me, this one's just holding for weight. I'm not really bothered about the condition of it. But a lot of people will be paranoid about their silver coins. They'll be paranoid about getting a big thumbprint on the middle of it like that, getting milk spots and all of that jazz. So whether or not silver Krugerrands are going to take over as that kind of bullion grade investment coin, I don't think so because, you know, it's just silver at the end of the day and, uh, you know, you have to have nearly a, an 80 or 90 of these or God knows how many of the silver ratio in equivalent to the gold ones in the future. So yeah, from my point of view, I think of it just as weight rather than a premium coin. So I don't think this is going to grow as a premium grade coin over the coming uh, years. Uh, maybe it will somewhat because it is the first ever BU coin. And if they continue to um, you know, s you know, sell these just as BU versions, then I guess bit being the first one might make it a little bit more desirable, but I can't see it being a phenomenally uh, popular premium coin, you know, with a high price point on it. Now, rather interestingly, and I did this, uh, I made a bit of a mistake in an earlier take of uh, this episode of In Focus Friday, because I hadn't fully researched the coin. It was a bit uh, silly of me. So I was looking at the coin and I noticed that there is no 999 silver on it, but it is a 999 silver coin. You can see there it says uh, Fin Silver, which is, I guess, um, the South African Afrikaans for fine silver. And then we have obviously the, the English version there, fine silver as well and it's got R1 and I didn't see the R1 first time and I was thinking to myself this is not a denominated coin it doesn't have a denomination so how are goldsilver.be selling this without the regular tax that you see on coins which are just rounds of course you know I'd made that mistake and I'd missed the R1 so R1 represents for one rand which is the currency of South Africa so this is a denominated coin in that regard which is of course a really interesting uh, thing so no tax on this when buying from Europe which is of course a real boon, which keeps the price down, which keeps the desirability high. So lots of very good things going on with it indeed. So I would love to know your opinions on this particular coin on the Krugerrand. I think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't necessarily rate it as one of the best investment coins that's gonna be out there in the world, but at the same time, it's a very cool coin, obviously very popular, but I'd love to know your opinions. Please do comment down below. So Krugerrand's out the way. We are going to next week be having a look at a very big premium coin. We're looking at the compare and contrast between the 2017 Swan, which we all know was an incredibly popular released coin. And then we are going to be featuring the 2018 Swan. I've actually had these for gosh, nearly four or five months now, just not got around to featuring them here on In Focus Friday. So talking about swans, all things Perth Mint and all things Swan next week. If you'd like to see that episode, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna get a notification when that video goes live next week, make sure you hit the alarm bell. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video today on the Krugerrands, then please do make sure you hit the thumbs up button and share it around on your social media. That would be very helpful for everything that I do here on my channel to share that video through the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, that is all I have to say. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.